How are we doing, ladies and gents, boys and girls? Welcome back. Mm. My name's Tom Dyer. Today, we are learning some working flair moves. Working flair is flair whilst you're working. But these working flair moves that I'm going to show you are still pretty awesome. So let's get to it. First one looks like this. Yes. Yes. It's quite a tricky move to perfect, but once you get it, you can use it in many, many different variations. And I'm using an odd shaped bottle. This is Moses Gin, really good gin. If you wanna get your hands on some, there's a link in the description. But basically, it, it's two moves in one. It's a behind the back move, and it's a back to front. So it's a behind the back with the bottle, and it's a back to front with the shaker. You just have to do them at different times. So I'm gonna quickly bring in my practice bottle to show you how this move works. Essentially, the behind the back, when you throw it, you wanna keep it close to your shoulder. And the back to front, the shaker, is gonna be further away. It's gonna be a little bit further away over here. So when you do your switch, you'll see that they're not colliding. That's what you wanna aim for. It takes practice, it takes determination, and it takes confidence. But if you have a practice bottle like this, then you're gonna have a lot more confidence for when you move to using a real working flare bottle like this. Yes. Boom. So there's two quick upgrades I wanna show you to this. The first one is to finish with a hand stall. And that's essentially just learning how to throw the shaker back to front and land it on the back of your hand. I've done a video on stalls up there, but you're doing one spin with your weak hand, that's my left hand, to my right hand and catching it on the back of my hand. The switch behind the back is the same. You just have to learn how to control that stool to be able to land it on the back of your hand. The second upgrade is a lot more difficult and this is sort of pro level. And this one is with a bump, a reverse forearm bump. And I've done a video on bumps as well. You can check that one out. There's links in the description below to find out more videos of where you can learn all these other technical moves. But essentially again, the, the switch is the same, but this time the, the tin needs to come up higher and we're gonna reverse forearm bump it here, give it a hit, and then you're gonna catch it in the same hand. One more time. The second working flare move I'm gonna show you is probably one of the most used working flare moves out there, and that is a back to front to a stall. We can do to a hand stall, we can do to an arm stall or an elbow stall, but the move is always the same, and that is ensuring that the bottle is flying up flat. Now you can see I'm using a different bottle here, this is Nero Vodka, and this is half full as well. The way we perform this move, if I just turn around, is when you're throwing the bottle up, you're pushing the top of the neck of the bottle. So you're counteracting the spin, which would naturally happen if you threw the bottle, and you're pushing the neck, so the bottle is gonna fly up like this, Boom, 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 and then you're gonna land it on the back of your hand. And then once you get the hand stall, then you can move on to the arm stall and the elbow stall. Ooh. Now there's many upgrades you can do with all of these moves, but this one I wanna show you is a back to front to a paw. Looks like this. Yes. All right. This time, instead of pushing the top of the bottle when it's coming up to stay flat, we want to allow it to come up, upside down, but we don't wanna spin it. We want it to come up like this, so with hardly any spin whatsoever. That way it's in the correct position for us to put the shaker underneath and catch it. The way you hold the shaker is palms away, thumbs down, you're gonna grab hold of the shaker. You're gonna have these ring finger and pinky finger loose, so that when the bottle comes down, you're gonna grab hold of that bottle with that ring and pinky finger. If you want, you can add a thumb roll in before you throw the bottle, a thumb roll to the shaker, grab the bottle, and then you can finish off your pour. One more time. Yes. Now the last move I'm gonna show you is a really easy move to perform, and you can upgrade it to a very easy upgrade as well. It looks a lot more difficult than what it is, and it looks like this. Yes. You're gonna grab the bottle like this, palms away, thumbs down, turn it over, so in tennis grab. The shaker you want in beer grab, so you're just gonna grab like so. The bottle's gonna come over inside the shaker, then you're gonna swing it around like this, and you're gonna pop it up 
but across your body. So you want to go across and you'll see that they'll separate and then I'm going to grab both items back at exactly the same position as when I started. So tennis grab, beer grab, over, grab. I can just keep looping the move around. But once you catch, boop, then you're going to start pouring. Even if you catch it like here, you just turn over and you begin your pour. The upgrade to this move is to catch the shaker in a stall. Now, you may think that this is really, really tough, but we're gonna cheat and use the bottle. Looks like this. Yes. Did you see the cheat? So same move as before, we're gonna throw over, and when you throw, you wanna try and keep it together, and you can essentially catch it like this, place it on the back of your hand, and then you can perform your stall. So you're gonna come over, if you see, I'm, I'm almost catching it like this, then I place it into position. If you want to start by just doing this and then bring it over to pour, you can also do that. So with a full bottle, that would be... Yes. You can take that off. Continue making your cocktail. So there we go, there is seven working flare moves that you can use behind the bar, you can use on competition, you can use on your stage show performances. These seven working flare moves, if you nail these, it's gonna open up so many doors to more working flare moves that you're gonna be able to start performing. But give these a shot, let me know how you get on, and thank you very much for watching. Before I go, I do wanna say a huge thank you to these legends who do, who do support me over on Patreon. If you wanna get involved in that, there is a link in the description, but that is it. Don't forget to hit subscribe, like the video if you liked it, and until next week, see you then.